the shift there is that you build a culture of referrals in your brand as you scale. So that instead of it being reliant on a founder or key couple of individuals, it becomes everyone's business. It becomes brand led, not founder led. Um, and if you can do that while still staying in touch with your customers, rather than a well-known accounting package. Uh, well, no, zero. I get an email from zero like, every other month offering me 50 quid to refer a friend. And it's like, it's just so off the mark, right? But actually, if you build a culture of referrals where your customer-facing teams are confident and have the skills and the process and the structures behind them to you know when to ask for an introduction, how to position it, then actually the scale you can achieve from not forgetting what got you to where you were in the first place, just enhancing it and scaling your strategy as you scale your business can pay dividends forever, forever and ever in your business, right? So not at the expense of doing other stuff, but don't... Most businesses out there are probably, I would say, at 30 to 40% efficiency of where they could be in referral and partner strategy. And I'm being kind, right? It's probably more like 20%, right? The whole Pareto is law thing. So all I'm saying is don't leave it at 20% and go and do all your other stuff. Try and make the most of the channels that have worked already before you, or as well as going and doing all that other good stuff. Leading on the back of that then, Div, I wonder what is the number one thing that you see business owners getting wrong with regards to their referral 